Hello my friends, how are you doing? My name is Olivio and today I'm gonna show you how to do this beautiful effect where text is peeking through foliage. Throughout the video I will show you two easy techniques to achieve this. Also please write in the comments which of these leaves you think is fake because some of them are out of place. Okay, let's get started here. And the first thing you need, of course, is a nice picture of foliage. There are some things to look out for when choosing them. First of all, you want to have a picture that is nice and evenly lit. But the second one is that you want to have leaves that are neither too big or too small because too big leaves will cover up the text and give you less opportunity to be playful with the foliage and too small leaves will make it very comfortable cumbersome to select dozens of leaves. Another thing you want to look out for is to have leaves who have these smooth and even edges so to make the selection a lot easier. Of course the next step is that we need to write text and also here there are some things to think about. First of all I would suggest to use a text that is rather lean and simple because of course the background is already very busy and very organic so to contrast that you can use a very simple text font. The second thing to look out for is don't write too much text because the font has to be the letters have to be rather big so that the leaves can overlap the text and not cover up complete letters in your word. Good. So now that we have created this, how do we do this effect? Here is the first very easy trick to do that. What you want to do is to duplicate your background picture. So right click on the picture layer and then duplicate this and move this on top of your text like so. The next thing you want to do is to select your text layer, then hold control and click on your text layer in the layer tab to create this selection. Now you want to go to select and invert pixel selection. So we have selected everything but the text. When we have done that, select your copy of the picture and click on the mask layer icon. Because what this is doing is that we are now having a picture where the text in the middle is cut out like a cookie cutter. Control D to deselect and of course the next step is going to be to paint in the mask again where the leaves are. Here is a very important advice to make this step a lot easier and faster. Make of course the other two layers visible again, then go to your text layer and reduce the opacity to 50%. Now create a pixel layer on top of everything and use your brush. Let's set this to hardness 100, opacity 100 and have a nice bright color for example a red and with this what you want to do is to simply circle all the areas that you want to paint in afterwards so you have a quick overview and can work much faster. But you have to look out for some aspects here. First of all don't cover up too much of the text but also don't cover up too little of the text like for example over here where we have this very small part and from a distance this is going to look awkward. So have something where it is distinctly overlapping the text and also has a nice leaf shape when it does so. Also you can only use leaves that are reaching into the text not out of the text. For example like here where the stem is starting at the middle of the text because the leaf has to come from somewhere and it's not going to grow on the text. Of course what you can do is you can have a leaf that is growing inside of a part of a letter like this hole in the R and then growing to the outside. So here's the next part. What are we going to do here? We want to select our mask layer down here. Then of course zoom into our picture and use the freehand selection tool. There is other ways to do this but I find this is the most easy and efficient set the feather to one pixel and then what you want to do is to hold the shift key because this allows you to click and click and it will create a straight line in between. While you're holding the shift key you can also press the control key and use your mouse wheel to zoom in. Now because we have feathered the selection this means it's going to be a little bit wider than what you select so don't go to the outer edge of the 
leave but select something that's a little bit more on the inside like this and you can see you don't have to be a master with your mouse because you simply click around the outside and this is very quick and easy. Of course, if you have a tablet, if you have an iPad, you might be faster to do this with your pen and just paint this in. But with a mouse, this seems to be a very easy and safe way to do a selection that is even good for beginners. Of course, close the selection. And now the next step is that we want to have our brush. We set it to white as a color and maybe make our width a little bit bigger, opacity 100% of course, and simply paint this in like so. You can see now we have created our overlap for the leaf with the mask, super easy. Let's make our text visible again so you can see how that looks from a distance. Right now you will realize that this doesn't look very realistic because there's one ingredient missing and that is the shadow. Simply create a pixel layer, then again, use your brush. Now what we want to do is to set the opacity low. Let's go with 20% here. Also the hardness, let's go with 20% here. And then we want to set this to black like so. And now we can simply paint in our shadow by hand. Here's an important thing to look out for. Wherever you see that the leaf is being more distant, like where it has this arc here, you need to have a bigger shadow because it's further away from our letter, where it is bending downward. So we have a little valley. It is very close to the letter, so we need less shadow in that area. But you want to accelerate the shadow at the same time, make it stronger than it should be because the shadow needs to be visible from a distance, okay? So let's do this here. Let's paint this in here a little bit like so. Looks pretty good. Let's make this a lot darker here. And also here we want to have more darkness. Go to effects, Gaussian blur. Blur this a little bit like so, so we have a softer shadow. Then go back to your layer and then you can adjust your opacity to your taste, to whatever you want to have here. Take a little bit of time, experiment with this, play with that, no problem. You can also create one of these pixel layers with the shadow for every leaf individually. So you have more freedom for these settings with the blur, with the opacity, all these kind of nice things. But now when I zoom out, you can see here that it looks nice. And because the shadow is rather strong, we can still see it from a distance. So be a little bit on the loud side with your shadow. Here comes the second trick. This is a super important one because nature doesn't play our game. If you want to have something nice, you have to fake it a little bit sometimes to make it look more interesting, right? So when you look at our picture, what we have down here, for example, is a nice leaf that is not overlapped by anything and is nicely lit. So simply select that, make a copy and copy it over to an extra layer. Of course, I have already done that for you, so we are not losing any time. So you can see here is my leaf, ba -ba -da -bum. we can move that around. And the cool thing now is you can move this wherever you want, wherever you think it looks good and create a cool effect anywhere in the picture. That is a really cool thing. Now, of course, there's another thing to look out for because this leaf can't just grow magically on other leaves. So you have to look for where does this leaf actually actually come from. There's two ways to cover this up. First of all, what you can do is that you stick the leaf like this and then make the selection. So the leaf is coming out behind of one of the letters and then covering up one of the other letters. Another thing you can do is to go here and for example, stick it here in one of these darker places and then simply use your eraser tool to blend out or erase this part. And you can see that this is now fading into darkness and makes it look like this leaf is coming out from here. So this is very helpful for us. And now we have a leaf Maybe we don't want to have it over the T. This is covering up a little bit much, but you can see that now it looks like the leaf is actually coming out of the position and this is natural. So let's, like I said before, put this leaf over here into the R. So we have a leaf that's actually growing out of one of the holes in our font, like so. Let's see, we can, for example, go like this. That seems to be a little bit big though. Let's go like that. Again, we need shadow for that. So what we are going to do is to again create a pixel layer below that leaf this time, like so. So you can see here's our leaf, here's our shadow layer. Shadow, let's call it like that so we know what it is. 
Again, we go to our paintbrush, check the settings, opacity 20, hardness 20, and then color is black, very nice. Go in here and then we are going to paint in our shadow here like so. Like that's good. Maybe let's make this a little bit smaller. The uh, brush seems to be a little bit big. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give it some more darkness down here and over here and maybe also over here. That looks good. Maybe I want to have some shadow. Ah, maybe not here, but let's see. Here should be a little bit of shadow. All right. Good. Again, let's go to our Gaussian blur to make this a little bit softer. And then let's go to our opacity to make this a little bit brighter or a little bit transparent, right? And so now we have created our shadow here. And by the way, if you look at this and say, mm, that is not what I want it to be, you can still go in here with your eraser and then erase the parts where you feel like, okay, maybe I have added a little bit too much shadow here. So let's go like this. And there we have it. So now we have a different shadow. Here's another thing you want to look out for. That is very important if you use this. You can see that here the leaf is overlapping other leaves. And this also needs a shadow. But here we have another shadow situation. If you look at the shadow here, if you look at the darkness here, this is not complete black. As you can see here, this black has a little bit of blue in it. So what we want to do is to sample this. Let's go like that. So we have this blue-ish shadow down here. And now we are going to go up here and then with the same layer, paint this in here a little bit like so to make our leaf more realistic on the other leaf. Let's go and delete this part here again. There was a little bit too much. That's good. All right. Perfect. And so you can see now we have our shadow on the leaf. Let's reduce this a little bit more and nobody can tell if the leaf was there before or not. But now we have a custom leaf in exactly the position where we want to have that. And of course, if you repeat these steps for the other leaves, for the other areas, you end up with something like this. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Maybe subscribe and leave a like. See you in my next video. Bye.